Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you all are having a great day. Uh, the past 24 hours has not gone uh, according to plan. Um, if you didn't know, I got three Huskies. Our oldest is Lacey, she's seven years old. Sierra is five years old and Jackson is four years old. Yesterday, uh, Sierra came inside and had a massive gash on her muzzle. And it was, wasn't like bleeding bad, um, but it was super, super deep. Uh, she ended up needing three staples to get it shut up, uh, get it like closed up. It was so weird. Every time she would yawn or breathe, it would just like open up like a gill. Vet said it was fine until we could get her in since it wasn't bleeding, but uh, we, we eventually were able to get her in and uh, yeah, three staples. So had to deal with that. Uh, didn't get a chance to film the stuff that I wanted to film, so we're doing it now. Stuff I wanted to film though is uh, with the R6. Today I want to take this thing out, uh, but in order to take it out, we have to do a couple things. I told you in the first video um, of Vlogmas day one that uh, I have an updated ECU flash. Uh, and oh, speaking of which, I think I mentioned in that video that there was a Yamaha recall to fix the cold start issue. I could have sworn um, I had information on that because I had someone message me and say, hey, I, I heard you say there is a recall, but I can't find anything on it. And I was like, oh, well, let me just go look for it. And I couldn't find anything on it. So I'm not sure if there's actually a Yamaha recall. I could have sworn there was, um, but either way, Boss Racing that did my ECU flash, he implements something on the ECU now that takes care of uh, the cold start issue, supposedly. So. I got that sent out, he sent it back to me. Uh, we're gonna put it in today and one, see if it fixes a cold start issue. By the way, if you don't know what the cold start issue is, on the uh, new R6s, it doesn't start on the first press of the starter button. You have to press it a couple times or put a little bit of throttle on when you when you hit the starter button in order for it to start up. There's no like problem, it always starts up reliably. It's not like you're sitting there trying to start it forever, sometimes it won't start at all. No, none of that. But uh, this is supposed to fix it. So we're gonna see if it fixes that. And the other thing is it's supposed to give a little bit better top end and a little bit smoother start from uh, low RPM. So we gotta get the ECU in. The other thing is the battery. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all the battery problems, but I have the original stock battery in there right now, which is completely unreliable because it was sitting for like over a year. Uh, so it was just sitting dead and the battery's not good anymore. Um, but I did have it on a trickle charger, so we should be able to get away with uh, one ride in here today and that won't be a, a huge problem. I've had it on the trickle charger for over 24 hours. It should be uh, good enough to go, but if not, well, that kind of screws over the whole video. <laughs> All right, before I uh, screw down the seat, I probably should have done this before, but I wanna make sure I have power on that battery. So we'll just uh, turn the key, make sure the lights come on. They probably won't because that's just the luck that I have. Oh crap. Yeah, you see that? Light's not coming on. Crap. Um, well, that's not good. You know what? Uh, let's try the Grom battery. I'm gonna go grab that one. We'll put that one in. All right, let's try this one. And yes, all right, all lights on. All right, so I'm gonna get rolled out. The uh, The Grom battery is a little bit smaller of a battery than the one that comes in the R6. Uh, so this should be a good test <laughs> if that ECU flash made a difference on the starting. Um, I don't think it's gonna be any problem getting it started up with that. Uh, but the battery has been sitting for a little while, so who knows. I'm gonna get this rolled out, get the seat back on, and uh, we'll try starting it up. So 
So moment of truth, bike has not been started in weeks. Battery from the Grom has not been used in months. And uh, the new ECU is in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. No throttle used, just pressing the starter button first try. We'll see how it works. That battery's drained. Not enough cranking amps for it. Well then, that didn't go as planned. Crap. <laughs> well, I guess I gotta get a new battery in there. All right, so I'm headed over to Dan's house. Uh, he's gonna let me borrow uh, the battery off of his H2. Uh, I could have gone and bought, bought one, but I, I, I wanna buy a new battery. I don't wanna get one from just like AutoZone or something like that. Um, so I didn't wanna spend over a hundred bucks just to use a battery one time. So he's gonna let me borrow the one off of his H2 just to test out the R6 for a couple hours. I grabbed two batteries, but I think this battery and the other one both have like 1% on them. So uh, I may not have any footage over there, uh, but regardless, we're gonna get ourselves a battery to test out. You've got, you've got like 20 seconds left on this battery before it dies. What's your words of wisdom for the day? Uh, my GoPro bra strap. That's, that's your wisdom? Yeah. All right, so I got uh, the battery from Dan. Although, when I saw it, I had a feeling that it was gonna be too big, and sure enough, the <laughs> the size compared to the one out of my R6 is, it's uh, a fairly large difference. So here is the uh, one off the H2. This one is about a half inch taller, and uh, a good inch and a half um, narrower width-wise than the uh, the H2 one, so that's not even gonna <laughs> that's not gonna fit in there at all. So uh, I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and go spend the money on one from the store. Just rock that one instead. Uh, unfortunately, I'm losing daylight now, which sucks because I still want to get this video out. It might be uh, testing <laughs> testing the R6 out on the road. I think it might be nighttime when we get to that, and it's freezing already. So all right, so I just spent like the last two hours driving around to all the different like AutoZone, O'Reilly, Advanced Auto, all of those places, trying to find a battery. None of them had a battery that matched their went for the R6 in stock. All of them would have had to order it. Uh, so I finally uh, decided that I'd make the trek out to Cycle Gear, the closest one to me. And uh, the only one that they had was just the regular standard one where you have to mix the acid together uh, in the battery. And then I'm pretty sure with those, you have to let them sit for like at least eight, 10 hours or something like that. I don't know, it's been a while since I bought one of those. So I know some people will judge me for this, but uh, I picked up <laughs> the same lithium battery that I had in the R6. Uh, my only problem that I had was um, letting it drain to dead that was when it caused me problems. So I really wanted to get a battery that I could use immediately so that I could show you guys what we got going on and take the R6 out for a ride, uh, despite the fact that it's, you know, eight o'clock now or almost eight o'clock and uh, freezing cold outside. So I'm gonna get this um, on the uh, charger just for a little bit, just to make sure that I have, um, that I'm not like, I'm pretty sure these come already charged, and then uh, I'll put it in the bike and uh, we'll see if it cranks up. Oh God, it's cold. All right, good. I'm not gonna touch the throttle at all. Well, I don't know if I can write that off as a uh, fixed. I don't think that's fixed, but it is freezing cold and the bike has not started in a long time now. Uh, it's been a while since the last time I rode the R6. We're gonna go see if uh, I can feel any change in the ECU. I'm not putting too much weight on this particular ride, but I'm just excited to get this thing out on the road again. So I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit so that it's easy to start. And then uh, I'm gonna go get my gear and uh, we'll go out for a ride. Got my warm gear on. I got my my like triple layer jacket and my my thick gloves. All those these don't keep me super super warm. And then uh, my my long johns underneath my jeans. Alrighty. Now one of the things I wanted to test was starting out from a stop. Usually it doesn't feel like you have very much power starting out. Oh now my freaking fuel light went on. Are you kidding? Me? It doesn't really feel like you got 
a lot of power. I mean, you, you don't, but it doesn't feel as linear as you would want it to be. So, oh, that's so much better. Now, I know the bike is fast and it hasn't been a while since I rode it, so take this all with a grain of salt. More specifically, my thoughts on like top end power. But uh, for actually starting out, it's a lot more linear. And what Anthony told me that he was doing with the ECU flash is he's adding a little bit more um, power, a little bit more fuel at the beginning, right at the bottom, so that it kind of artificially makes the beginning of the power band a little bit more linear. At least <laughs> that's the way I try to describe what I think he was trying to tell me. If it actually, oh God, it feels like it. <sighs> oh man, I didn't realize how much I missed riding this. I'm freaking freezing my balls off, so I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> oh God, it's cold. Let's feel this again from a stop. Yeah, man, that's so much smoother. Man, that power band, it's just like, oh, it's so predictable. I love it so much. By the way, fairies feel great. I don't hear any like rattling or anything like that. They're like super tight, so yeah, I guess I don't need all that foam. Well, but that's gonna be it, guys. <laughs> it's been a long freaking day, but that's gonna be it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it at least a little bit. Back tomorrow, hopefully, <laughs> with another video. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'm putting out videos every single day this month. Other than that, you guys have been awesome. I've been Motonocity. Remember, life better with horsepower. Keep life lived. And I'll see you guys in the next one.